So, uh... All right, so, uh... Okay, well, I gave uh, Gilbert Gottfried, uh, Chris DeBerg, and I gave, uh, just, I'm sorry, it's just Cini? Just Siri. Just Siri. Just yes. Cini. Just Siri. <laughs> just Siri. Right? Sounds like, I don't know why that sounds worse. Just Siri. Uh, I gave just Siri Dignity Sarsgaard. After, after thinking about it for a long time. <laughs> And uh, so Rory. Will oh, be just because he's gay, you're making him a woman. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> he's blind, but he sees everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> no, that's why I ruminated on it. I was like, <laughs> God damn it! Uh. So uh, Harmon, do you want to do you want to do your acapella thing or? Oh, sure, yeah, I'll do, uh, uh, uh... We've been without music for a while and coping with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> We're playing Dungeons & Dragons now, Gilbert. Yeah, okay, yeah. You'll, you'll get to... Oh, uh, yeah. Last time on Harmontown. Our heroes... I gotta say this stuff. I gotta say it. <laughs> Our heroes had just defeated Father Tinder and were dealing with his corpse. As the gang fled, they were accosted by a night watchman who seemed to be wise to their tricks. But Dignity Sarsgaard smoothed things over. Just when they thought they were safe, they found themselves surrounded by guards. But Dignity and her mighty steed provided the gang with a much-needed egress as they escaped the town. However, leaving the safety of the town would prove to be a dangerous move, and no sooner than our heroes had escaped, Admiral Darkstar took after them with the fury of hell. After screaming an elemental summoning, Admiral Darkstar noticed the shard of power floating away from the city and abandoned our heroes to give chase. Dignity's mount pissed on a fire elemental, pissing off his leg. And with that, our heroes escaped the flaming foe, finding freedom in a foul fen. <laughs> People love alliteration. They love it. I love it, too. <laughs> Approaching the first door they saw, our heroes encountered a showering woman, and after terrifying slash objectifying her, <laughs> our heroes played it off like it was no big thing and asked for her help. But what thing was going to happen? How would the gang whatever? And what of the blank? Find out next time on Placeholder. All right. So everybody has questions, right? Yeah. <laughs> questions. This is, this is that point in the D and D where everyone goes, "What's going on?" I mean, <laughs> and this is—I I usually know what's going on, but I, I'm a bit uh, fuzzy, if I'm honest. Like I, I'm like like 15 episodes behind, so I have absolutely no. Yeah, and we also just released the last episode that happened today, so I didn't even get a chance to listen to it. Needless to say, they left the village and arrived at a naked woman's house. <laughs> And we were looking through the window at her. Yeah, and showering. And then we came in through her door, right? Yeah, it was, no, I mean, you looked at the window. She saw you doing that, freaked out, and then you entered her house. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to keep her quiet. Okay, so that's where I, we, Yeah. Okay, so I'm... Yeah, we're... Inter okay, I can... Okay. L L young lady. Is she young? Uh, she's, she's... You can't tell her age. She might be elvish. Uh, lady... Take it easy. We just need a place to hide out. See? <laughs> yeah, um... It doesn't seem like a very convincing statement, but when you put it out there, she's like, I guess that makes sense? <laughs> I mean, it is one of the only uh, windows in this swamp, so... We're, 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 we're within the confines of Rose, Rose, Rose... No, you're outside of Rose We left that city. You, yeah, you went, you ran and off found this into place. a swamp. Do you have any questions? I, I stopped paying attention an hour ago. <laughs> That's fine, too. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I guess he has a question. Well, then we can't help you. <laughs> What's your question? Is, is this a contiguous game? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, but I'd like to think no one has to know or does know anything that happens. Yeah. Yeah, but just pretend... No, it's a terrible some, idea. Just pretend some people entered a naked lady's house. You're all set. That's... 
Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's honestly, it's a, it's the worst idea in the history of entertainment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah, now you it's, do. It's like, imagine if every week Ugly Betty was about something different, <laughs> <laughs> but she was she was a different kind of ugly, and I, it just it was always on a, it was on CBS every other week, and then like they moved kept moving it between Friday and Wednesday, and it's just a bad idea all around, and uh, somehow we keep loving it. They cancel this on Yahoo. So, like Ugly so- Betty. <laughs> Gil, 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 Gilbert, just, just, just say anything. Just random. riff, yeah. Just so we no, can. No, s- I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> just so we can say that you played D and D with I us. I don't know what this whole thing's about. It's acting, but instead of a stage, I'm saying the stage. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an improvised radio play. So, there you go. So we're we're in a uh, naked girl's apartment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a swamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't okay, land. Okay, <laughs> uh, hey, great tits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, there, we played D&D with Gilbert Gottfried. That's what's important. And, we did it. And Rory is going, I have no idea what your tits look like. <laughs> Let yeah, me feel like, them. Yeah, that's what yeah. <laughs> Well, Rory plays a character who can see. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. However, I could probably feel them for inspection. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, has Cork uh, fucked her yet? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I feel like that's I feel like that's like less cool when it's actually like a human. Like if it's like some sort of <laughs> if it's like some sort of animal, you can just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck it. But like as soon as it's like it's an, it's an actual woman, I feel weird being like, oh, I'm gonna fuck her. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I won't. Do that, that makes me feel yet. weird too. <laughs> yeah. All right, ma'am, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got my, tits. I know. <laughs> Please cover yourself. I grabbed. Oh something. no, I did. Sorry. Okay. My my my, my, my platoon mates and I we're 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 fleeing a dark force that that threatens to overtake the world. And we 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 just came in here. I I think for maybe food. <laughs> Are you asking eat. me? No. <laughs> I, I. You know what? You know what? It occurs to me. We had no reason to come in here. I, <laughs> I think it was just there was a naked woman, so and I, like, and it I, seemed I, like the I, place we're, to be. we're all gonna back out, and we're all gonna we're gonna move to the next place. <laughs> Where's the next place? We're not sure, but we're just gonna keep moving in the same direction we were moving. All right. And uh, we we were sorry for the interruption, and um, <laughs> life is the thing that happens between your plans to do other things, mm. <laughs> as John Lennon once said. <laughs> And, 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 and we're just going to leave and we're going to head to the next place and we're very sorry and you'll notice we didn't, we didn't objectify you. <laughs> I mean, I hate to disagree, but... <laughs> I, he just said nice tits. It's, oh, uh, well, no, my friend, I mean, he's, r- he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's uh, middle... middle e- mid- Medieval fantasy world, like 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 a lot of people are very unattractive, and you look great, but that's not the same as objectifying you. Like I don't think that the way you look is who you are. I th- I, 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 I I'm, I'm making the assumption right off the bat that you probably are some kind of scientist. Uh. <laughs> But I don't think it's inaccurate for my friend to say nice tits. But in either case, I say we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> All right. We're leaving. Well, see ya. So long. Uh, what was your name? Charles. <laughs> Charles, it's did a you fa- say? It's a family name. <laughs> All right, Charles. Charles. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's, guys, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Okay, we, 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 we leave, and then we go to the next... We, we just keep going. Go. <laughs> what does that mean? You keep we going? We keep going in the same direction, in the same line. We were fleeing the city, and then we came across this place. We mm-hmm. keep moving. We keep going. You, you enter a swampy land. It's, it's become too swampy to really walk, walk Okay, easily. we go back to the naked lady's house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I knock on her door this time, uh, and I go. This time we're not, we're I, not coming in. Okay. <laughs> Hoping this can be a, a reboot of a, a, an encounter that started off on the wrong foot. Well, now I'm all confused. 
<laughs> well, you just said you were leaving and you're already back. Well, ma'am, I, 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 uh, we, we were fleeing, as I said, an evil force. We stopped by your place. Um, we, 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 we left. It's you. Uh, you live in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure what to do. Yeah, what exactly were, were we, like, trying to accomplish? Well, we that, were just I running. wouldn't know. That's a weird we, thing for you to ask a complete stranger. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Sharpie. Well, ma'am, I, I, want, I want you to hear this qu the answer to his question, too, ma'am. We, we're running for our lives, mm. and we're cowards, and I, we're just running from, from, <laughs> from things that might hurt us. And so I, I ask you if you've ever felt weak in a moment in your life, <laughs> and if you could, if you could connect that moment in your life to this moment in our life, which would be empathy, <laughs> and like maybe no, that would be way... sympathy. Empathy, you wouldn't need a moment in your life to connect with someone else. Oh. Damn. <laughs> wow. All Street right. Now it's boring. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I and, and you're a naked woman with great tits and a beard. <laughs> beard? She has a beard? I don't think she's naked anymore, is she? The what? Still naked? What? She's not naked anymore? Yeah, no, so no, she put on clothes. I'm uh, sorry. All right, let's, leave, let's leave. No, nothing for you. <laughs> yeah, Ma'am, uh, honestly, all we want to do is uh, get our bearings and, and, and figure out where to go from here. It's just that you're surrounded by marsh. I know. And uh, we... We we just need a place to um, sit at a table and look over some maps. <laughs> Did you not need this five minutes ago when you were inside my house, <laughs> ma'am? I'm, I'm not I'm not going to try to convince you that we're an organized adventuring party. <laughs> we're not. Uh, we never advertised that. We never said, "Hey, it's us. We know what we're doing." <laughs> We are a group of people who, d who, are, who are running from things. We don't want to engage them. We, we came across you. We acted impulsively, mistakenly. We fucked up. We tried to correct that. We, we, we wandered into the wilderness. You live in a swamp. We're back. <laughs> we're, we're asking now, ma'am, uh, if we could just sit at your table and just look at some maps. <laughs> I don't know if you have atlases or... Uh, no. <laughs> no, I Just figure I out where we are, get our bearings. <laughs> uh, truth is, ma'am, uh, like, like we, uh, a lot of times we're very drunk. We don't know, <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. And uh, we're very embarrassed. And it's not like, I, we don't expect acknowledgement of that to, to, to be a pass, a free pass. But we're out in your porch and uh, we can make a day of it out here. <laughs> Or we could come in and um, just... I could share some holy text with you. Read some holy text with you. That's cool, right? I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. What did you say? I could share some holy text with you. We could read oh, them. Oh, you know, I love reading. Elf, half elf. He's got some holy texts. <laughs> I really enjoy reading. Okay, well, see? It's really about just peeling back layers and... <laughs> Wait, what? It's about peeling back layers. Reading? <laughs> Wait. I feel like we should figure out some way to get through the swamp. I, I don't know if the plot's going to advance here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you I guys want to come in. I don't know, I want to kill some in. shit, so. All right, okay, ma'am, ma'am, uh, you know what? Sorry to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to head into the swamp. We're going to head into the swamp. Well, I mean, we have to, apparently we can't walk in it, so we have to figure out some way of, like, getting somewhere else and not just be trapped in this house. That's I agree. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there, like, Okay, ma'am. Goodbye. <laughs> are you, are you oh, sure you're done? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's it, it, it just, I mean, even, even, even in jest, if you could give us a direction. <laughs> Just any direction? Yeah, well, just, just like just when pick you, one. Just when spin, you, spin like when you leave, where do you go? <laughs> well, I, I take the main road back towards town. Well, uh, the way we came from? Yeah. Okay, well, when, the you, main road. when you, when you want to get away from there. Can you, can you keep taking the main road, like, away from town? Does yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, it splits up. You go past the town. You could go left near the town. Yeah. There's all looks, sorts of directions. Yeah. But all back toward the town. Well, initially, sure. But then the roads, they go in other directions, all sorts of ways. <laughs> all right. Do we need to Vincent Price's house? Wait, what? We'll head back toward town. Wait, what? Do we need to leave to Vincent Price's house? I don't know who that is. <laughs> or John Lennon. <laughs> all right. Yeah, well, this okay, guy Okay, well, bye, bye ma'am. 
<laughs> Bye. Have a nice life. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Thank you. Right. What you were doing. And we head, we head back the, down the road, back toward town, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but back towards, and then past town to areas unknown. Yeah, right? hopefully, yes. Well, ho- yeah, I mean, like, a, yeah. So uh, you head you head towards town, and you see you see barring your path, hopping along on one fiery foot, a fire elemental missing a leg. And you recall him from your past travels, in which you, you made your horse pee on him. Right. <laughs> Is this someone like we were fighting before? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so we should kill them. So I should piss on the other leg. I didn't hear that. So I should piss on the other leg. Then. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gil- uh, Gilbert, attack. <laughs> <laughs> This would be a good time for you to attack. <laughs> okay, I'm attacking now. <laughs> so, oh, wait, can I, can I, 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 I'm <laughs> rushing forward with a violent attack. <laughs> so while you're rushing forward with this violent attack, are you are you wielding a dagger or a poison dagger? Uh, or, both. Uh, both. <laughs> I have a regular dagger I think in my left hand that. and the poison dagger in my right. Yeah. <laughs> there you, now you're getting it. <laughs> Wielding both of these daggers, you plunge them deep in the beast's fiery hide. All right. Deal some amount of damage. 14 damage. Wow. <laughs> Wow, Gilbert Gottfried is great at Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> you feel the heat raiding off of the elemental's fiery body, but you pull away before it can burn you. That's just a, yeah. Okay. Someone else do something. Can I fuck him? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm just saying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneak up behind him and try to fuck him. <laughs> and then if that if that doesn't count as my entire turn, I want to like attack him with. I want to go into a. I want to go into a barbarian rage, fuck him, and then attack him with my flaming sword. <laughs> flaming sword attack. <laughs> I can't wait for Jeff to come back to the podcast so I can tell him this is his effect on blind youth. <laughs> <laughs> Flying into a barbarian rage, you sense all feelings and emotions and, or not those, logic and stuff, the other one. Leaving, <laughs> leaving being replaced with rage and passion. <laughs> As you undo your pants and enter the fiery fiend, you realize oh, wait, yeah, that, is that the gonna fire, burn? yeah, you, oh, that's shit. what you realize. It's worth it. <laughs> well worth it. <laughs> your, uh, your dick takes 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> feeling, that's a, that's feeling. A victory. That's probably all for the best. Uh, yeah, yeah that's a good point. <laughs> feeling, oh, feeling your dick melt off. You. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we only have one dick left in this party. I'm, I'm sorry, Jeff Davis. Uh, wherever you are, <laughs> I melted your dick so, off. Like, uh, uh, reeling uh, back. Really trenchant metaphor for what happened to our country during Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Reeling back from this incident, you you lunge into attack for a hurting hurting your member, and maybe it's just the fact that your entire dick was melted off. <laughs> but yeah, it goes it, wide, it and your axe fall or your sword falls blade first into the soil, missing it completely. Oh, God damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Jasiri. Uh, well. Detecting evil, I feel like we've o- misjudged this fire demon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> detecting, <laughs> detecting evil, you do notice it's not an evil spirit. It seems neutral, if anything. <laughs> uh, he melted I mean, my dick off, so I say we kill him. <laughs> well, so would an ordinary campfire. That <laughs> says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. this is such a classic conflict between a blind guy and a gay black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're on the same team. I, I don't think we're, I don't think we're quarreling. Not yet. Uh, I I'll, think... I'll lay mercy on my my team member's burning member. Oh yeah, <gasps> laying hands <laughs> on this. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a, this is a classy move. It's On the classy. shiny uh, Ken doll-like crotchal region, <laughs> <laughs> you instantly feel your pain going away, but you don't instantly feeling your dick come back. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. You're going to need some serious <laughs> magic to pull that off. <laughs> That's dicks for you. <laughs> you can't live with them? Can't, <laughs> can't I think it, I feel like you can definitely put it at Sharpie's turn. It's my turn. Raise the dead? I don't dead? think wizards can raise the dead at seventh level. Also, why uh, uh, raise the dead? Yes. <laughs> All right. I think he just wants to end the show. I think my oh, high brother uh, is here. I <laughs> know, uh, but, but actually, well, yeah, what do I know? I mean, he, that might have been a great ending. Uh, yeah, uh, shit. Uh, let me, I'm looking at my spells. I'm looking at my spells. Uh, yeah, Ray of Frost, come on. Well, Ray of, Ray of, I, I'm telling you guys, Ray of Frost is a level zero spell that does, like, two damage. But... Uh, Center Square. <laughs> I mean, am I right? Ray of Frost is like it's, it's a, garbage. Right? Yeah. I mean, if he's vulnerable for fire, it might do up to six damage. Right. <laughs> Still not very good. Um, Scorching red. I, 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 I just let me look for a second. Let me look for a second. Um, I, I, I would reduce person working on elemental. No, they're outsiders. All right. Okay. Um, or elementals. Uh, I don't know uh, which. Uh, 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 Talk to him? <laughs> hey, hey, listen. <laughs> Verbal abuse. We, uh, we mean you no harm. <laughs> uh, it looks like you have to say, I didn't think you were until I got raped. <laughs> but, but who really got raped? <laughs> it looks at you as if to say me. <laughs> but his dick's burnt off. I, yeah. It looks as you I'm the real victim say, here. I'm literally made of fire. <laughs> I, exactly. And that's why we, we, we... I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> and we were born all of the ways that we were born. And we don't, we, we don't... I'm telling you, I swear to God, from the bottom of our heart, if we've transgressed, we are sorry for it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still pissed. I still want to kill him. <laughs> In the immortal words of hedonism, bot, I apologize for nothing. <laughs> well, uh, it, lobs, it lobs a fireball at you, then. You take some amount of damage. At, at, at uh, quark. quark. 19 damage! Jesus. Wait, what? <laughs> What the fuck did I ever do? <laughs> what did you do? You just fucked a you, plane. Can you fucking... told it you're not sorry you raped it. <laughs> no, not sorry, not sorry. I tried to rape him before my dick got melted off. <laughs> Attacking a blind kid, that's not cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Wait. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, oh, guys, it's not my turn. I think it's Gilbert's turn. <laughs> Gilbert, Gilbert, think really hard about what you do. Yeah, he's the only one who's done anything good. You so. can See, save this I, game. I can't even fake this, because I don't know what the fuck this game is all about. So, it's about killing this guy. Just, <laughs> yeah, wait, just try, uh, Gilbert, try I would try, too. just try to talk sense into it. Just, just say... Just be Gilbert Gottfried and just talk to this fire elemental and just tell it that we didn't mean it. Okay, we didn't mean it. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> I'll go along with anything at this point. I think that's a problem. Use the kinglet. <laughs> the what? <laughs> we s These are all great suggestions. <laughs> I just think, Gilbert, just, if I could, if I could ask you to try, just in the form of a monologue, just, like, beseech this thing to be peaceful with us. No. The, the, and, and, then, and then Spencer can roll his die, because you'll be, you'll be attempting diplomacy with this thing. But you, you as Gilbert Godfrey, you have, to, you have to try to convince this fire elemental to be peaceful with us. That's my suggestion. Now, now, what was this again? 
He says you want to kill him. I want to kill him, and I'm <laughs> diplomatic about it. <laughs> I'm, think, old, I'm lost. I'm, ta- I'm telling six, you, I'm saying to you, instead, just, just say to this thing, it shouldn't <laughs> want to fight with us. We want to be peaceful with it. And just uh, in the form of a monologue, as only Gilbert Gottfried could accomplish, a master dip- diplomat, just making peace with this thing. It's a fire monster. Oh, he's a fire monster. Okay, I've got that. <laughs> and he no longer has great tits. He's no, no, a fire no. monster. We're not, this thing does not have great tits. It's well, a fire monster. <laughs> I, my, oh, please, fire monster. <laughs> Who doesn't have great tits? <laughs> but may or may not have a beard. <laughs> I gave up on that a while ago. Please don't kill us, oh, fire monster. <laughs> Thank right, you. Okay. <laughs> it, it looks as, you, as if to say, I'm, I'm really tired of this. <laughs> and it hops, it hops away on one leg. We did it. I did it. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried saved, saved our party. <laughs> Is that is that how he end Dungeons and Dragons? It, it could be. I think it is. Yeah. It sounds we, uh, like it. Gilbert Godfrey did it. That's been our podcast. Guest comptroller Gilbert Godfrey, for God's sake. Jasiri, Black Day Jasiri, Blind Rory, and I am a jazz musician, so that stereotype is true. Super privileged Dan Harmon, Spencer Crittenden, and Dungeon Master. And the city of New York. I thought that would get a big applause. Uh, let's thank this theater. Uh, the IFC. What the fuck? Where are we? 92Y. 92Y. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, good, good, good job, 92Y Theater, for having us here. This is the classiest drink we've ever been in. Thank you guys for being patient and uh, hanging out with us and watching the show. Uh, now let's all tiptoe away and, and, and let Rory sit here and uh, <laughs> see what happens. see you out there. I don't know. We'll pick a place to go hang out afterwards, and thank you for coming out. God bless you. That's it.